welcome viewers to yet another interesting topic with you today from this book of my daddy women are tools of restoration we'll be taking a wonderful topic titled the power of consecrated and determined woman great stories are told in awesome accomplishments such stories become source of encouragement to endless generations we have so much to glean from the courage and persistent prayer of Hannah, who through her determination destroyed the yoke of many discouraging years of barrenness. The earth needs women like Hannah to turn things around. Why Satan uses determined and courageous people to destroy things? God needs consecrated and powerful women like Mona's wife to create new and encouraging stories. Great and courageous women will always give birth to prodigious children. God depends on great and courageous women to produce unique and prodigious children. Consecrated and prayerful women are great assets to God. God needs the commitment of women with the spirit of Mary and Elizabeth to establish his will in this sacred millennium. Great feats can only be accomplished by those who have capacity to accomplish them. The earth lives from the decisions of courageous men. The opportunities life provides for women to impact the earth must be maximally utilized. Everything under the earth is subject to change. If we stay long enough in the presence of God, the earth will wear a new look. Samuel was born from great determination and lineage. The spirit that gave birth to him was made in fire. Considering the background of John the Baptist, you will see why his spirit was so resolute and brave. This generation needs women like Hannah and Mary. There is so much evil to resist. Wickedness abounds because of scarcity of vessels that can resist it. Any evil can end if there are people that can end it. The world didn't remain the same after Mary gave birth to Jesus. The birth of Samuel introduced the area of kings in Israel. God is pleased when people take courageous steps to terminate the works of darkness. Evil and wickedness must not be part of this messianic season. And that can only be achieved through unique wounds that must give birth to agents of restoration. Mary is the greatest woman that ever lived. There is no woman favored as the mother of God. Both heaven and earth are caused honor for her fortitude and courage. Although she was chosen by God, her effort and obedience made the birth of Jesus a reality. Can this millennium be blessed with a woman of many abilities and faith like Mary? It's a question that needs answer from you. This is a time of restoration. Women should contribute generously to this age. God is waiting anxiously for the unique and courageous women of this age to take responsibility for all that he desires to accomplish in this age. The story of Mary is already told, but your own story is yet to be told. Favorable stories are told in great accomplishments. The restorational program of God for this sacred millennium will not be accomplished by Mary, but by you. This age is waiting to be announced by those who are designed to announce it. God blesses an age with what the men of the age contributed. The reason some seasons died is because they were not announced. The dispensation of grace and truth was born because Mary gave birth to Jesus. The Messianic ministry of Jesus gave birth to other New Testament ministries that was built on the foundation Jesus Christ laid. It is evil to be careless and nonchalant in an age that is waiting for us to be announced. The will of God can't be accomplished in this age except men take responsibility for it. The age is blessed to have a woman like you with the power of restoration. Because you were born, nothing will remain the same. What Mary accomplished in her age can still be accomplished by the choosing women of this age. 
women have the power of restoration. We have come to today's episode from this my daddy's book, Women Have the Power of Restoration. I will continue with you from next week, same time. Love you plenty. Bye.